Okay, now comes the easiest part of the job. We've already connected our 3x4 downspout adapter. Now we're going to take our flex drain solid pipe, expand it out, and put it in the ditch. Okay, now we're going to install our flexible TY. Keep in mind when you're installing the flexible TY, you, you will need typically one or two couplers depending on the installation. For this one, we've got two male ends coming together, so we simply snap on the coupler here, take the male end of the pipe, snap that side on, get it into place. Okay, now it's in place. The next thing we're going to do is attach a downspout adapter to a short piece of pipe. First thing, take your downspout adapter. Get that up and snug. Now you're going to have to cut a piece of pipe because you've got just a short run. The nice thing is you don't really need to measure because it's flex drain. So take a piece that's about the right size. Attach your other coupler. The tricky thing here, always attach it to the cut piece first. By taking your finger through the, through the back of it, pulling the pipe until you hear that click. Then you can take the snap on to your flexible T. Snap the other end on to your downspout adapter, expand it to fit. Okay, to finish off this part of the installation, you just take your female end of the, your next piece of pipe, snap it on, and run it out to your ditch. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to change from our solid pipe and use a perforated pipe. In this application, we've decided to use a perforated pipe with a sock because there is a lot of fine soil. And what we've done now is we've connected the solid pipe to the downspout adapters, and that's going to solve the problem of the water runoff. They still have an area right here that with low-lying water tends to puddle up, so we're essentially going to create a French drain and tie the whole system together. So we're going to take this and we're going to expand it out. Okay. Go ahead, get this in the ditch like so. Cut, cut a hair sock here because what we're going to do is now we're going to take another one of those flexible TYs and we're going to connect in our two downspout lines that we've already got pre-connected. First thing you want to do is connect your couplers to your cut pipe. Pull the pipe through with your fingers till you hear it click and it feels really good and secure. And you're going to need three of them in this application because you've got three pieces of cut pipe. Now you connect your T. Okay. Connect the whole thing and make sure your pipe is down. Nice and deep. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to bury this whole pipe underground. So the easiest way to block the end is just to simply take your extra sock, tie it off in a knot, and bury it down underground. Okay, just like on the other side of the house, we have the same problem with the downspout adapter. What we've done, we've already dug our trench, put our pipe in place, connected our downspout adapter to our flex drain pipe, ran the pipe through and around the pole. Simply connected it to a great drain right off to the end of the driveway, stop the erosion, simple and easy.